I really thought Nick was the one. I put everything into that relationship. The whole time, them two have been carrying on. Well, you don't know that. Speak of the devil. Oh, hi, you love. Did you find Sam's footy gear in the end? Yeah, it was under his bed. I should always look there first when he loses someone. Never mind Simon's footy gear. What about what she's done to me? Oh, not this again. Yes, this again. Why don't you sit down and have a cup of tea? Uh, is that all you can say? Sit down and have a cup of tea? Look, we're a family, and if there's a problem, we'll just is, sit this and we'll tell him. She's been carrying on with my fella. Oh, you were with him for all the five minutes. I was married to him. I don't see what your problem is, apart from you being a spoiled little... Hey, friend. Leanne, that's enough. Well, come on, I'm not the one kicking off here. If there is something going on between me and Nick, it's got nothing to do with her. So there is something going on between you? Actually, yeah, there is. There wasn't, but last night we decided to make a go of it. Right, I don't know about you, but I've got work to do. I'll be in the bar setting up. Yeah, I know. Well, not great. Yeah, listen, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. I've got to go. Bye. Oh, no! Don't hang up on my account. I always love a boy. Having a good laugh at me, are you? Not everything's about you, believe it or not. OK, girls, keep it civilised. Listen, I'm just trying to be straight with her. When you saw us in the back room together, that was the first time we got close since... Since what? Since the last time you knocked it on the head? Yeah. Right. Oh, do you know what? Believe what you want. I'm telling you the truth. You wouldn't know the truth, Leanne, if it bit you on the backside. Right. Get out of my face. All right. That is enough. And listen to me. I realised that I still had feelings for him. So last night, I went to see him and said we should make a go of it. He agreed. Oh, come on. You can understand why she's upset. She's a sister, Leanne. Some things are out of bounds. Oh, are they? Right, well, maybe I could have said the same when she got a clause into him in the first place. All right, that is enough. Leanne, you go and take a couple of hours off, and I'll sit down and talk to Eva. Yeah, good idea. Maybe you can talk some sense into her. <sighs> so she doesn't just get the fella, she gets the morning off and all. I cannot believe you're taking her side. I am not taking sides. Well, if you think I'm staying here while she's living here, you want your head red. Oh. <sighs> This is such a mess. Eva thinks we've been seeing each other for weeks. Yeah, we haven't. Well, try telling her that. I can't believe the way she kicked off. Yeah, it's a good job she resigned from here. It would be a bit awkward if she dug her heels in and decided to stay. Well, I suppose she must be really hurt. Oh. We haven't done a thing. Eva's not happy unless she gets her own way. Yeah, I know that. It's just... It's taken me so long to accept Stella as my mother and even longer for me and Eva to be friends. Don't get used to it. Yeah, Stella may be, but Eva... But it's Simon. I mean, look at the way he reacted when Peter got with Carla. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not Carla. Yes, I'm no, 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 no. I love kids. They love me. Max, Bethany, they're like putty in my hands. Right. OK, well, I'm just going to have to talk to him then. I'm going to have to tell him on the way home from school. Flannelly and won't do it with Simon, so I'm just going to tell him straight. Always the best policy. Right. You don't mind if I hang out here for a bit, though, do you? Of course not. Look, if it gets too rough over there, you and Simon can always come and stay with me. Thanks, but I just think that with all the upheaval he's already had, I just think we, we really need to take things one step at a time. Take it as slowly as you want. Right, what do you want me to do? <clears throat> well, I think everything's under control, love, thanks. Well, I've got to do something, Mum. I need to work. I've got to take my mind off stuff. All oh, right, well, um, oh, you could cover for me. That would help. I've got to sort out these train tickets and that for this course tomorrow. Here she is. Come to rub my nose in it again, have you? Why well, don't I make us up, really? Yeah, I don't. I was hoping we could talk properly. Of course we can. What do you mean, of course we can? Mum, I don't want to speak to her. Sit down. I understand how this must look to you, but honestly, I would never have made this decision if I thought you and Nick were still together. I poured my heart out to her about him. And all the time she's plotting behind oh, my back. No, it wasn't like that. Have you even thought this through? What, am I just supposed to sit there watching telly while you, Nick and Simon, play happy families? Christmas dinner's gonna be a right barrel of laughs, Oh, come it? on, love. I think you've been a bit over the top now. You're not getting this, are you? I can't live here while she's still with Nick. Watching them two all over each other while I eat my cornflakes, no oh, way. Yeah, like I'm gonna bring you back here, aren't I? Oh, right, so you're just gonna go and hang out at Nick's while me and my mum babysit Simon, yeah? No, of course I'm not. Look, I'm sure we can sort something out. No. Either she goes or I do. I'd rather be on the streets than watching her flaunting him in my face.
understand why she's so upset. Yes, of course I can, but stuff happens all the time we don't like. I should know that. You can't just go around giving people ultimatums. Have you spoken to Nick about moving in there? <sighs> I only got back together with him yesterday. Oh, come on. You're not really taking what she said seriously. I can't see her out on the streets. She'd know where to go. Right, so you're going to chuck me out instead? <sighs> well, I can't see how it's going to work. Can you? Liam, wait. No, oh, forget it. You've already turned your back on me once. It must be that much easier second time Oh, now. come on. No, forget it. Nick's already said that he's happy to have us. I've stayed here too long anyway. It was never going to work out, was it? Please don't say that. Why not? It's true, innit? You've just proved that by letting a blackmail you instead of doing what you think's right. Is it right? I know you, Leanne. I know you think I don't, but I do. Is Nick what you really want? Well, why wouldn't he be? He's kind, caring, a proper family man. You see the way he is with Audrey and with his mum and with little Max? Yeah, but that's all well and good. Yeah, well, I've got Simon to think about now, and I need to make some grown-up decisions about both our futures. And as far as having a good, happy life, Nick comes way above everybody else. What about love, Leah? Trust me. It's overrated. So, what have you got planned with Grandma Deidre and Grandad tonight, then? Oh, you know, all the usual. A bit of homework and some telly with Grandma and a story from Grandad. What's happened? Why do you say that? Uh, because you bought me a cake and you're asking me to have questions. Nothing gets past you, does it? Right then. How would you feel if we went to live with Nick for a bit? How good? Well, it might not be for long, but... Well, me and him were getting back together. You know we used to be married a long, long time ago, don't you? Yeah. But we have to call him Dad. No, no, of course you won't. Your dad will always be your dad. Nothing will ever change that. Can I have your own room? Well, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. Big enough flat. Do you want to see it? Defo! <laughs> will I be able to put up posters on that? Yeah, you can do what you want. Well, come on, then. What are we waiting for? You're full of surprises, you, you know. What do you mean? Well, I was just worried about us moving again because you've already moved from the flat to the pub and now we're moving to Nick's, but take it all in your stride, don't you? As long as we're together, it doesn't really matter where we live, does it? No, it doesn't. Besides, living in a pub, it's not really ideal, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we're moving to Nick's. You can come and visit us if you like. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Been nice having you, Curly. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for caring. I don't. I just thought that you might like to know that Nick and Leanne are together. Or should I say back together? What? Yeah, I was surprised as well. Anyway, she's moved into his place with your Simon, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Have a nice day. He's made up with his room. But he said, can I paint it a different colour because white's boring? No polka dots or all I care, as long as he's happy. Well, will you look at this? Love's young dream, how lovely. What do you want? Well, we could start by you telling me where my son's living. News travels fast, doesn't it? I was just going to tell you on my way back home. So I take it by that you mean his place? Yeah, if you like. But I was just having a drink before facing you, to be honest. I'm sure you know the feeling. You don't mind if I join you, do you? Just for a second. You're not going to cause any trouble, are you? Trouble? Goodness me, no. And before you ask, he's with Ken and Deirdre, and it was arranged last week. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm not criticising your mothering. It's just that I'm just the tiniest bit ticked off that my son's living with this bloke. Who not only do I not like, I was sleeping with you behind my back not so long ago. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting a lesson on morality from you, am I? <laughs> you know, that'd be really funny if it wasn't so sick. Just go, Peter. <laughs> <laughs>